Hello there, welcome back to another video of SwiftCAD. In this video, we will check about interesting topic of iOS developers' salaries around the world. iOS developers is responsible for developing applications for mobile devices powered by Apple's operating system. In simply, we can say iOS developer is an app developer. Today, there are 195 countries in the world and so we are not going to discuss all of them, but Based on the sources available, we'll go through around 50 countries in the world. Let's get into it. Let's start with the United States of America. An iOS developer with 1-3 to three year experience will get around 6,000 to 8,000 US dollars per month. And for a mid-level, it considered that 8,000 to 9,000. And for a senior, it will be around 10,000 to 11,000 US dollars per month or more. And for an iOS developer, which is in freelance mode, you'll get up to 125 US dollars as per source and for a minimum of 18 to 25 US dollars. Now let's take a look about United Kingdom, which comes with England, Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland. As per source, the average base pay is considered as 49,428 British pounds per year. So in terms of US dollars, it's said. 65,856 US dollars per year. Now let's uh, go with India. So the average base pay is considered as 6,19,000 Indian rupees, which in terms of uh, US dollars, it can say that 8,506 US dollars per year. It can go up to 20,000 for a senior IS developer, and based on the companies like T. HCL, TCS, Infosys, the pay may vary. Let's talk about uh, other Asian countries like Singapore, Malaysia, Japan, and China. So the average base pay uh, as per Singapore dollars is 5,970 per month in Singapore. And if you look in US dollar, we can say that it's 4,502 US dollars per month. And in terms of Malaysia, as per Malaysian currency, it's 5,750 per month. And uh, for in terms of uh, US dollars, you can say it's uh, 1,388 per month. For Japanese, it's considered that 346K per month as per Japanese yen. And in terms of US dollar, it's 3,176. And for China, it's 18,930 per month as per Chinese currency. Yuan and in terms of US dollars we can say it's 2,953 or around 3,000 US dollars per month. Now take a look about uh, European countries like Ireland, France, Germany, Netherlands. In Ireland it's considered as a fair pay and it's very good and it's around 48,166 per year euro and uh, for Germany it's uh, 56,000 euro as an average pay. So if you if you Calculate in terms of US dollars, we can say that Ireland is getting around 60,000 US dollars per year and Germany is 68,000 US dollars per year. For France, its uh, average pay is 45,000 and Netherlands is 55,000 euro per year. So in France, it's around 55,000 US dollars and uh, for Netherlands, uh, it's 67,000 US dollars per year and for Norway uh, as per law it's uh, Norwegian currency it's around uh, low average and high and uh, in Norway we can say it average as 78,535 US dollars per year now now take a look about in New Zealand Russia so in New Zealand and Russia in New Zealand we, we can say it's around uh, 65 65,000 US dollars per year and for Russia it's around 2400 US dollars per month for Nigeria you can see it as uh, 700 US dollars per month and for Israel it's better fair pay it's around 6000 6, US dollars per month for Australia as per Australian currency Australian dollar it's 93000 in terms of US we can say it's around 72000 for Canada it's uh, 79,000 per year as per Canadian currency and for US dollar it's around 65,000 US dollars. And there are a few mentions I have mentioned here about the Denmark, Finland, 
France, Germany, Italy, Poland, South Africa, Spain, Sweden, as per their currencies in junior, mid, and senior level in euro on corresponding currencies as well. The last one is about the countries and the average pay, which I need to mention is about the UAE, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, which is in the Middle East, Jordan. So UAE, you can consider that for a junior iOS developer, you will get around 400 to 600, sorry, 4,000 to 6,000 dirhams. But in terms of US dollar, we can say it's around 1,000 to 2000 for a mid-level and for a senior you can get 3800 or 4000 US dollars above per month for Qatar it's around uh, 4916 and for a junior level you can say it's 3000 US dollars in terms per month Saudi Arabia you can say it's at 2000 to 3000 US dollars for Jordan it's a very fair pace considered as uh, 2000 500 US dollars or around per month and um, for a mid-level you can say it's 1500 US dollars for Jordan and Turkey it's around 997 US dollars per month Pakistan is about 455 but in terms of uh, Pakistan currency it's around 65,000 Pakistan rupees in terms of US dollars it's very low considered like uh, 455 US dollars per month for Bahrain, it's about 3,925 US dollars. For Kuwait, 4,756. Oman, 4,681. South Korea, 4,541. Brazil, 1,382. Bangladesh, it's uh, 281. It's quite down as per considered. Taiwan, it's around 2,500. Mexico, 2,112. Argentina 1432 and Egypt is about 1058 and at last the Philippines is having around 956 US dollars per month so these are all in base per month and these are the sources which I have gone through so that's all lads this document was prepared based on the sources available if I went wrong somewhere you may come to tower if you like the video please subscribe and for more tutorials based on the iOS macros flutter AR Stay tuned and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Thank you lads. That's all.